whap, snap. He was like a superhero on that run.
like super heat. I'm talking bulletproof, kind of suit. Reflect the struggle that they put us through. With the strength to fight the power like Chuck D a dude. With the insight to be equal. No, the sky needed a voice to find reason to multiply people in the streets for the cause. Watching on Washington miners will be walking through walls. Type of superhero show up when ain't no one to call. Better shield you from them shields that been killing us all. High beams for eyes to peek the villains in the dark. Power of resolution for a war with even start. The knowledge to build and grow where they live and take care of the kids and the older folk. The queen cause they need it most. Politics with the kings. About economic growth. Kill PTSD. Cause mental health ain't a joke. Feed the hungry and dope. Everyone would know. Everywhere would go. Every block, every hood, every city, every ghetto. Be the black superhero. It ain't easy breaking away or being a great. They slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Cause a starving stomach like being punched in the face. And I- it's Madden NFL 23, and it's presented. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and we are underway in Southern California and we'll see a return here from the end zone and he returns this to the 22 Tampa Bay's offense set to take the field and of course a quarterback 23 year veteran who's had a Hall of Fame career several times over the great Tom Brady well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on the football field for a couple of decades now. But how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stick on Father Time the way that he has. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 17 yards and again, it's opening a great Offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Brady now on first down. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And down to the 41. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The Bucs passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. To throw on second and six, Brady. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So back-to-back plays each get nothing. Third and seven now. 
So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Brady on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Suckup's kick is good, and the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. Well, that was a long, sustained opening drive, but in the end, only able to get three, the field goal, out of it. And absolutely, you'll take the points in the early lead. You never get those back, but there will be a little bit of disappointment that they didn't punch it in for six after that kind of yardage and that kind of drive that they had. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. But first down, Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, Gordon, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll run with Sanders. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Grant Calcaterra from four yards out. And the Eagles are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they had two more. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. <laughs> they want that one on the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. One corner of the books, 8-3. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Brady to throw. 
Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Buccaneers are going to take over once again. And they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Well, their defense got them the football with an interception. They trot out their Charles in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brandon, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, if it's two in a row, what if we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. On play action, now Brady. Blitz coming and down he goes. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Throwing on second and long. Brady, underneath, he's got Brady. And just three yards on the catch there, he couldn't get away. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. That certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. But I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league. Defenders sitting in on quarterback. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them I was to do that? Maybe was they, that? they saw something on film. Did you see something on film when those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 22. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. A quick pass here to Godwin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks from up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Now Brady. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On second down, they'll run with White. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Now a play fake. Brady. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not pulled well at all here in the first half. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. An 18-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around. Mike Evans, he's going to go. 30, 10, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 84 yards. And the Bucs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Ryan Suckabon for the point after. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The box ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. As the offense begins another drive here, a pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because... We don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets. Adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. Yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But that's what they have to do more defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. down with Hurts. He's going to rifle one deep left side. That's caught inside the 20. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. As a passer, he's always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Second and two. First down marker at the eight. Hurts. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. 
He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead grows to 14 to 24 to 10. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, He's still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Dancing to his left. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times, the passing game working well and most importantly partner and they went to the tunnel with the lead they come back All right, rifles one and that's going to be intercepted Carlton Davis picks it and it's a pick six he brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD extra point trying out for Sucker he's got it and it's 24-17 giving the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, yeah, you'll get them next time. You don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all his receivers downfield. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Hurts to throw. That's into the hands of Pascal. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. Antoine Winfield up from the secondary with a tackle. In the first half, he was held in check and on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. They'll try and throw for it. It hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. Well, it was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the, the, the exact right play, because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, uh, that's not necessarily easily done, so I think going for it there is a the right call. On second down, here's Fournette. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Shotgun now for Brady. A pass underneath for Fournette. He's got room at the 30. Down the sideline he goes. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. And even 40 yards after the big play. A chance to finish now on first and goal. Fournette. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second down and goal. Brady, this is caught. Touchdown! Cameron Brady from three yards out. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from evening this one up. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Todd Bowles leaving his offense on the field. They're going to go for two here. offense comes back out onto the field. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they try to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done. They think the players that they set for themselves run their offense and get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. They go play action with Hurts. He's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A game there of 30 big ones. We have seen big 
plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, but there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. Hurts gets this to Sanders, and he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. He'll get this down to the 38. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Sets up to throw it. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard, the tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 24-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Here's the quick slam. A.J. Brown's got it. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, the pass rush would just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. They'll try and run for it with Sanders, and he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Sanders is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Hurts will throw. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead rose by a couple more. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is. And I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in. But with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Throwing on first down is Brady. His throw incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball, receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. On play action, it's Brady. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. After the sack on first down, Brady, that is caught. It's Chris Godwin. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. 
Chris Godwin. 59 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Buying time to his left. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing his hurts. Smith brings it in, going across the middle. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll go again with Sanders. And down to the 36-yard line here. It appears it'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he's going to have an Eagles first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. And this is going to be caught. He got it. It's a touchdown. And forget overtime. Barring a miracle, they're going to win this thing in regulation. And that score in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a ball. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And a fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. So now with 
six seconds remaining. We get a timeout on the field. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. One final try now for Brady. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end on that last. Madden football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chiefs and the 49ers. All that and more coming up next. in his Kansas City offense. Really the gold standard among NFL offenses since he became the starter in 2018. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Boy, that one was well-read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. To throw, it's Mahomes. Caught. Kelsey, left side. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. 
Mahomes now on first down. And no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Well, they told us that he was just going to be a bear to defend. And usually tight ends are, Charles, but he's no exception to that rule. His second catch in the opening possession, and it gets him a first down. Yeah, they certainly saw something on his earlier reception. He went back and reported what he found. And one of the things about him, he's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Yeah, we talk all the time, Charles, and it kind of gets cliche about the hands that he has. But really, it's the truth. They're the, for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On a jet sweep, here comes Tony. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Ten more there on another first down. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like these are wideouts, either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Kadarius Tony from six yards away. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in the Super Bowl. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7 0 game. So this drive spans seven plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. They'll be let out by Mr. Irrelevant in the 2022 draft. A guy with something to prove. Iowa State's career passing leader. And that's Brock Purdy. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. And he's taken down, a chief sack. There's that high motor that made George Karloftis a day one draft pick. This continuous effort to get there for the sack. In every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to make it fourth down. We're able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. Fourth down, here's Purdy. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. And partner, I'm not really sure what in the world they were thinking on fourth and long there at this stage in the game, but you think social media may be firing up a little bit right now? Oh, the coach is trending right now. Right? There's no <laughs> doubt about it. People wonder what that decision was. But it takes me back to a number of years ago. A very successful coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game, he was going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. And it ran his team into some real problems early, and they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recall it. Well, that's aggressive in capital letters with glitter, seven underscore. I mean, that's, that's the definition of aggressive. Yeah, you can almost hear the cheerleaders doing the be aggressive chant behind him, and he listened to it. Now Mahomes. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will add to their 
first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 14-0 is our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Purdy looking to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Sure. Receiver that he was looking for, and it's third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Down that right side, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays that we need to hit. Out. We need to get back into this game. It's been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Lance. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Second and two. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their cabinets. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first and ten, here's Lance. Taking a shot for Samuel. And this one is incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. On second and ten, Lance winds up and lets it go for Samuel. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Trip McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is that he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, those are the type of plays that can focus the defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to it. And I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. There 
are times to run that fake and there are times to not run it. And this, without question, would fall in the latter category. Well, I don't know about without question, Mark. I think we should look at the analytics on this one because, oh, yeah, the analytics say, yeah, without question. You should have gone ahead and punted the football because now, not only did you not get it and you really had no chance to, what a short field that you turned the ball over to the other offense. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle with a touchdown grab from Trey Lance. And the Niners are on the board here in this Super Bowl. Gold with the extra point. And that'll make our score 14-7. to A nice, tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score it. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A dump down to McKenna. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Orlando Brown, the former Raven, the guilty party. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Now here's Mahomes. Throwing the out route here. It's complete to Kelsey. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. Mahomes to throw once more. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked by Tarvarius Moore. And the 49ers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And Lance now to throw. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 15 yards there for number 15. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Three, 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 three. 
To throw again on second down. Lance. And he's got McCaffrey open. Complete. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. This one caught by Kittle. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Lance again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Now he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Trey Lance in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. A final shot before half for Lance. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Looking left side, and it's complete. So we've reached half. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finished. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To throw, it's Lance. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So pass interference, the call there. Always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first. But this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's only a good play call. They were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To throw again on second down, Lance. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. A 
Again, it's Lance. And that will be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we're talking about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and that'll move their lead up to four now. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side said, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking four balls, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 37 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. On first down, Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much right after the catch. From the 25 on second down, Mahomes. Slam route that's complete to Travis Kelsey. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. Boy, how about the speed with which his offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They run the jet sweep now for Tony. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. Mahomes will throw for it. And that is caught for the two points. So they like to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes it can prove risky there at work down. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted, they return it. That's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. And the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one lines up a turnover. Yeah, the running crossing right here, here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused in here. He throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. 
Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Butker on for the PAT. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. And he gets in. And no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, tried to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back from both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. But well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 28. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Lance looks to throw again. He finds Kittle going across the field. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, he moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Shotgun now for Lance. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Just one more quarter. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl. And now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Juwan Jennings. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going to work. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chiefs offense set to go. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. They go play fake. Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And now off to the races. Down the right side. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. 
Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. Operating from the red zone now, the Holmes. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And the Niners are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game in the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what point, you got to be super careful. got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. On second and two, Lance. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first down, Lance. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or it could have gone for more. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Here's Lance to throw it. Able to haul it in is Kittle. Down inside the 10. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So that's going to move them half the distance. First of all, you can't jump in this situation. But think about your play calling now. Could easily change what you want to do and maybe make things a little bit easier. McCaffrey trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second. Play. On the field. So the challenge does not sway the official's decision. The spot of the football going to remain right where it is. Here we go. Another Here we go. shot from the one on second and goal. Now Lance. San Francisco. Juwan Jennings, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Niners have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Important extra point up and through. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Patrick Mahomes in the offense. Down by a field goal, just under two minutes to go. They need at least a field goal to send this Super Bowl to overtime as they come up on first down. Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. And he'll be out of bounds.
Evans across the 30-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice game, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. And they call it a loss of a yard there. And now one yard to go on third down. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That first good for 20 and a first down. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, that pay dividends. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jarek McKinnon there, but it's going to be second down. will throw. A dump down to McKinnon. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Mahomes. Man open. That's Marquez valdez Scantlin. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Mahomes. He finds McKinnon, complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Here's Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Butker's kick here is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And Paul, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Here's Lance. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And we've got three football, four quarters time. So it's 
the 49ers who will get the football first with a chance to win it here in overtime. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And CD, we get to see the debut of the brand new postseason overtime rules. Now, as everybody is learning, both teams are going to be guaranteed an offensive possession. So they might get the ball first here, but a touchdown does not right away win the game. And we saw many marker games along the way that sparked a lot of conversation. But the Buffalo Kansas City game in the 2022 playoffs, that really brought about this world change. What an amazing game, a true classic. Ended in overtime without Buffalo getting a shot with the football, and the people didn't like that at all. So starting this season, if you make the playoffs, you'll get a chance to answer if the other team scores first. And that way, you get a chance to keep a great game as well as your hopes alive as you chase the big prize. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Just a gain of a couple there. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. A nice start for them here to overtime. And, and maybe the plan here is don't do anything too crazy. Don't try for some big play, Charles. Just move the chains, put the pressure on the defense. Well, these early first downs are certainly nice confidence builders as they begin overtime because even though you just play four quarters, the feeling's entirely different when you take the field in OT. Because you just want to settle in, as you suggested, keep the ball moving, and rely on your opponent to make that first big mistake. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Lance looking to throw it. This one caught by Kittle. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Not lacking aggressiveness here to begin overtime, Charles. A pretty big play right there. And it looked like it might have caught the defense off guard. They may have been expecting something a little more conservative. Yeah, they've got to shore things up in a big way because they make any more mistakes like that and really let them drive it on them. They'll be putting their offense in a tough spot to answer if they want to extend their season. Now a give right side McCaffrey. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Opening drive of overtime, and now facing a third down and six. Big play coming up. now is Lance. And Kittle catching the slant. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 17-yard line. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. They are in a field goal range, but definitely thinking touchdown as they come up first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Mike McGlinchey, the Notre Dame man, guilty on that one. First and 20. 
Lance now to throw. This will be caught at Samuel. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. Now, things now, Charles, looking pretty good here. A great opportunity to try to cash in for six on the opening possession of overtime. And what I'm liking, Brandon, is what I see down on the sidelines. I see a defense huddled up and ready to go, already preparing for their opportunity to go on the field and close out this game. Yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And it's caught. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A touchdown does not end it, remember, but it sure will give him a leg up. It, and he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And Charles, that touchdown alone doesn't win him the game anymore with the rule changes in overtime of the postseason. But they still went down, scored, got the job done, and now they put it in the hands of their defense. And with the other side not guaranteed an overtime possession, getting that score is vital. The pressure's now on their opponent, and their defense, they have to play off the momentum the offense generated. One stop, and they end this game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And CD, the pressure is on here. Only a touchdown on this series will prevent their season from coming to an end right here, right now. And this is why the postseason overtime rules were changed, partly to afford teams an opportunity to respond in this type of a situation because in the past, this game would already be over and the losing team would be making off-season plans. Now they've earned their way into a postseason. They do get a chance to answer after the other team scores first. Mahomes safety valve here that's complete and he'll get up to the 43 yard line a gain of five good enough for the first down Mahomes to throw it it's Kelsey on the ground and all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown CD, so they get the touchdown, but that's only half the battle to keep playing now. They need to convert this two-point try. And you know that while that drive was occurring, there was debate about what would be the two-point play because they had to have it in order to try and tie this game up again. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. the kicks away here's McLeod from his end zone and he returns this to the 22 and San Francisco gets set to go here well one touchdown answered by another and we see those new overtime rules come into play and extend this game here partner so now it's nice and simple from here on out. Next score wins. It certainly is, isn't it? Even with the new rules, this is why winning that opening coin toss is so valuable. Now that we've reached sudden death, they get the first crack at ending this playoff classic. Execute the same way you did the last time out, and they will certainly be celebrating shortly thereafter. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Lance going to throw. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. Oh, what a nice tackle there. That will hardly move the needle at all offensively. A very short game. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime 
in just a moment. Well, if you like drama, especially in the biggest of all games, we are back for the second overtime now in the Super Bowl. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his lance on third down. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Lance to throw it. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now it's third and three. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Charles, any chance they go for it here? I think that there's a chance they have to consider it because of the way they put offense in this game. I mean, look at the scoreboard. Look at the points that they put up. They feel confident that they can keep it going. But the risk is, and the downside is, you don't get it here, you've set up your opponent in really good field position. Knocked away and incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down. Expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you kind of hit the jackpot there. And he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First and ten, here's Mahomes. Looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And his kick is good! The field goal is through the uprights, and they've won the Super Bowl. In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have points. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And his kick is good. The field goal is through the uprights. And they've won the Super Bowl. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put... Yeah, all right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small-minded, all your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of